Well, because I come to these Apple events a little often, we often stay in San Jose, but we fly into San Francisco. And one of the things we drive past on the freeway down is a big airfield, but it stands out not because it's an airfield, but because of these. This enormous structure here and a couple more over the other side are what I assume are airship hangars from a bygone era. And this one here has been stripped of all of the outer coating and is now under repair. So we thought we'd check it out, see exactly what it's all about. I just can't begin to tell you how epic this thing is. Eight acres, 3.2 hectares inside. But we're talking about something that was built in 1933 for the US Naval Airship Department. The USS Macon was a blimp, a naval blimp that was positioned here, uh, I guess, you know, in those leading up to the, to the Second World War. An unbelievable facility that you know, probably didn't foresee the usage of airships uh, not lasting as long as they might have thought. Uh, but in terms of the size of the structure, it's one of the largest freestanding buildings in the world. So here's where it gets interesting. The airfield is now leased by Google. They paid a couple of billion dollars uh, for a 60 year lease on the whole airfield um, primarily so they can park their private jets here, but also for this hangar because they have space and planetary ambitions. So goodness knows what they're going to do with this. I know they've got little blimps and balloons for internet around the world, but I don't think they need one this big. But there you go. One of the uh, most iconic buildings along the uh, Bay shoreline is uh, pretty much owned by Google and you wouldn't have ever expected it. Amazing.